Hi, I am Ed Borowski, President and CEO of Slipski Boating Solutions. We're getting ready today to uh, put our first cover on a jet dock floating boat dock system. And we're going to do a step by step on how to do it. And my associate, Conrad Barrett, is going to be taking us through the uh, the instructions on how to put one of these together and later on we'll be uh, taking a boat and testing it uh, with the boat in and out just uh, to show you how, how smoothly it works and how well it works with the jet dock system. For this dock we're going to be mounting the receivers in the first four spots every other cube. So you're going to want to remove your plug one at a time and lay the receiver in place. Take a 516 drill bit, pilot holes for the black bolts. And then drill your pilot holes all the way through. Next we're going to put the receiver back in. Lag bolts, three eighths inch washers. Nine sixteen socket. Snug. Make sure not to over tighten. At the end of the frame, you're going to mount the rest that the frame rests on the same way you mounted the receivers. There you go. So you got them lined up. Drop them down into the receivers. Next, you're going to, going to want to hammer on the arches to the base frame. You got a long end here and a short end here. Your short end is going to be set up already with the lock nut and your washer. So you want to insert your long end first. Slide this all the way down. You want to run your long end and your support here. like that. I'm going to pull this like that. Insert this through this arch right here. Pull it 
tight. After you install the sliding frame by sliding the rollers into the top and bottom tracks and putting the arches on the same way you put them on the base frame, we're going to put the tarps on. Tie two weights to the end of the string to the end of the tarp. Throw the weights over the structure. So here I'm installing our stoppers. This is a 3 8 bolt, about two and a half inches long. What this does is it keeps it from coming off the tracks here. So what you want to do is slide your bolt in here, washer on top, you got a flat washer, a lock washer, and a lock nut. Screw this on here. And this right here is going to keep your frame from coming off the tracks. We're going to pin the rest at the end of the frame to the height we want it to where it's snug against the frame. Take a quarter inch bit and drill. quarter inch bolt as a pin and run it through a lock nut and tight. You're going to drill a 3 8 hole through the outer frame to mount your boat buckle. This keeps your cover closed when it's in the closed position or open in the open position. A clip in to the D-ring mounted to the outside of your jet dock. It is finished. Introducing you to the new Slipski jet dock. so well on the jet dock system is that the end of our cover is uncovered. There's nothing in the way that would keep any of the drop on the dock from affecting the boat launching onto the cover. So we pull the cover back. Now we got the boat pulling in. Yes, it up. Jet Dock Slipski Boat Cover.